these are ancient demon and use the lightning sword and miss it hello my friends of middle earth and welcome to the beyond standard channel my name is shanks in 2d we are on a beautiful map for of Bruin in 2 in bfme 1 on a page 2.22 it's gonna be a 1v1 between good and evil if the blue Isengard player Torin versus the pink Gondor player Slickslove, starting with a barracks in a blacksmith and using the hobbit Pippin to capture the settlement and sending the two starting soldiers straight through the middle forward. Isengard will be trying to catch them with the war chant and he will also be able to deal good damage to them. But the player is pressing the S button all the time, you know, trying to minimize the incoming damage. The second Uruk coming from the Uruk pit in the front and also a smart move here to build a slaughterhouse. Um, it's gonna be a Uruk pit and a furnace opening. This lumber mill is gonna be pretty much untouched all game long. And now you need to be careful because on the Alvin Wood, the soldiers will have 35% increased armor and with the shield ball formation combined, they will be quite beefy. You know, in order to take them down, you need actually lots of time and that's exactly what Gondor wants. So they are trying to go for the small skirmishes, waiting for the reinforcement to come. In the meantime, Gondor player was able to capture the settlement and also sending his soldier down. I believe the Hobbit will join this area and with the help of the Hobbit and the soldier, you can creep this, get your soldier to level 2, which is going to be incredibly you know, important at the beginning of the game. Having a level 2 soldier is like super, super strong, you know. <laughs> okay, so he's microing a lot trying to keep them alive as long as he potentially can, but they are, now they are surrounded. Here for Eisen, it's very important to not feed level 2 to the soldiers, you know? And they are very close, no tower in the front, but he's gonna go for the crossbowman. So that's gonna change everything, crossbowman can keep the distance and shoot from a long and safe area. In the meantime, Gondor is creeping, like mentioned before, with the soldier and the hobbit. And he's also pressuring non-stop with additional soldiers coming from the barracks, preventing Isengard from creeping and he was demolishing the barracks and now trying to save up for the stable money which he will have enough very very soon and with this additional farm he will have three farms outside in total and with the farm inside that's in total four farms and you get 15% discount on your Knights of Gondor pretty good level 2 soldier is moving on the soldier also got level 2 we have berserkers now to counter the Soldiers, the Berserker is a great counter to Swordman. And he's also trying to creep this one. And be before his horses made it to the battlefield, he was already able to collect one power point. That brings him one big step closer to the Ranger Special Summon from the Great Somp Great Company. Not Somepony, <laughs> Great Company, English Heart. Okay. A level 2 soldier on the land, pretty beefy, like mentioned before. So you need like multiple berserkers to deal with them, but not a problem. Berserker recruit time is pretty strong. You can get them on the field in like 8 seconds, which is very short, you know. And the creep has been taken by the Gondor player. And he has now one power point in a quarter. So Isengard, as we are talking, wasn't creeping anything until now. And he has only one power point. You need to have like two to get the tainted land unlocked or the industry. And looking at this piece, his base is not looking too bad. Because he was never losing the settlement, which is pretty good. And also the slumber mill was saved. And it's almost level 2 too, you know. The Hobbit is level 4, so you need to be careful. Remember on the Elvin Wood, your units will not have leadership. That means even if Warchan was available. So, the Berserker, nice micro. Now the Peregrine of the Tower Guard has been unlocked, but it won't change anything. The Berserker is a hero counter that he goes slamming the Hobbit. You know, <laughs> and making Gandalf proud. Alright, uh, Knights of Gondor were creeping. Two power points in total. The pikemen should be able to reach this just in time. Be careful with the Knights of Gondor here. If he loses them, that's gonna be a big oof. Oh, he lost them. Uh, that's very unfortunate. It's something you pretty much are not allowed to do. But because of the amazing start into the game from the Gondor player... It's not gonna be that bad, you know, it's still very bad to lose your Knight of Condor because it was level 2, it will slow you down a bit. But he might lose even the second one, he didn't get the last hit here by the way, and will only get one part of the money. So now with the Pikeman and Berserker combination, Isengard should be able to reclaim some of the map control. The Berserker, three of them are hitting like a truck and destroying those settlements in no time. The creep secured by the Isengard player, a level 2 Pikeman, also the money should be taken. 
and Isengard's peace is looking good, industry has been used and the Vork Pit is building up. Barracks will be rebuilt now to counter the pikemen you need swordmen. So rock, paper, scissors, so you need to have the right units to counter the units from your opponent. In this case we are talking about heroes or you know most importantly cheap, the cheap version are the soldiers of Gondor from the barracks. And this is annoying, so he needs to build a post gate to get out from this situation. Isengard should be able to reclaim some of the map control. He has in total now three, four settlements outside. That's pretty good. The Berserker. You, you want to trample him? He's war chanted. Oh, that was really close, actually. The Berserker, one more, one more hit was needed, you know, because Berserker is like crazy attack speed. He can hit you very, very hard. He's not paying attention. He does pay attention. Okay. We'll be able to save the Knights of Condor, trying to dance around the Rosie. Because he doesn't want the creep to be taken, but I think he's like, okay, you know what? I can't really risk the biscuit, and he will up give, give up the area, and Aizen will be able to take the creep too. It's not the Palantium. He will be using the Palantium on the Walk Riders to get speed bonus. And creep was taken by the Gunner player. And also the money was taken by the Gunner player. But now he needs to run in circles because the Warks are actually buff from the speed of the Palantium. It means if they if you walk a straight line, your opponent's cavalry units, in this case the Walk Riders, will be able to outrun you, catch up to you and take you down. That's why he's running like in circles, as you can see and tell. And in the meantime, Isengard can do whatever he wants. Using the you know Walk Riders to clean those soldiers, no problemo. Gondor has now finally the heavy armor. That's gonna help him to win the skirmishes in a one-on-one -on -one between themselves and the Walk Riders. That's pretty good. Outpost control by the Isengard player. And it looks like we have no more creeps left on this map. PowerPoint wise, he's now the great company. That's pretty good. Would help you to actually go for a siege, you know. Barracks, you can combine the soldier with Tower Guard to counter the, you know, the pikemen and also at the same time the Walk Riders. That's also a possibility, but it's, you know, very expensive. We need to invest 530 for this combo, which Isengard can counter too by just combining the Uruks with the pikemen. And that's going to be the first base rush. Remember, the Elvin Wood is in a very good place right in front of the Isengard castle. It means the Grey Company should have additional armor here. And whenever they will get trampled, they can swap to the sword mode and they will get immunity to knockbacks. Watch this. Oh, he didn't do it. Now he's doing it. No, he's not. Trying to beat them, but they have also heavy armor plus forge bleeds, so they are very, very strong. Land will be covered by Aizen, but Condor can just recover this, and that's exactly what's gonna happen. In the meantime, the Knights of Condor are still in the base of Aizen, will be able to destroy two furnaces into Uruk Pit has been destroyed too. That's big, because the Uruk Pit will now lose the 50% production speed bonus, because it was level 3, and now it's only level 1. The Grey Company still being alive. With the sword, they are actually quite beefy and can count them. They are acting like a sort of pikeman, even though the pikeman revenge damage is way greater. But still, you know, you are buying so much time with them. And in the meantime, take a look into the minimap, boys. You see the map is turning all blue. But remember, before Uruk Pit level 1, Aizen can't produce any more pikeman anytime soon. So he gotta get it to level 2 ESCP because his bees is a very vulnerable target now for the Knights of Gondor from the Gondor player. We ride out for Gondor. Right out for Gondor. We hear that line all game long. Gondor has not much money though. Remember he needs to reclaim the map control. That's very important. Otherwise you will run out of money and there are so many things you gotta be doing. At the same time you need to recruit more knights, you need to recruit more soldiers and you know, ideally, at the same time, you want to have enough money to recruit Gandalf too. Okay. He's not paying attention to this area. You want to demolish the buildings in time. Oh, nice micro with the gunner player. Very good, very good. He has all the upgrades, but doesn't demolish the armory. Every second matters though. But, you know, he has enough money, but that can be changed with one single rush, which is gonna happen now. The Uruk Pit just got level 2, and there are no more pikemen, and the trample will be juicy now. Beautiful trample into the backline. You know, finding those exposed crossbowmen is a juicy moment. We have three knights coming from all the location. Attacking from the top, a level 3 furnace. Super valuable structure, you gotta be saving that one. 
it gives you 23 resources while a level one gives you only 16 so losing this level two level three resource buildings is going to be very painful the power points are rising to the sky from the gunner player getting very close to the eagles we've now lords on the battlefield level one what can lords level one do against knights with shields and heavy armor he will not be able to deal any damage to them gotta be shooting them at like 20 times luckily eisen has enough money to kind of replace the structures he lost so map control is kicking in for eisen but still you want to be prepared for those rushes you need to have like two three pikemen in your castle and you know be prepared for the worst and he has like lots of knights of gondor he has in total four battalions of knights might even go for more and i believe at this point he was trying to save up for gandalf because he has run about 2000 in the bank we have a Uruk Pike combo here from Aizen. That's pretty good. A Berz, uh, and again, exposed Uruk Pit, no defense. And it's going to be the same situation like before. Level 5 Knights, level 6 Knights with the Forge Blades are hitting like an absolute track. And then again, it's the most important structure in the castle of Isengard. They got to keep going. They do what they do. He might lose a Knight of Condor here. He will lose it. It's not worth it. The only good thing for Aizen, as we are talking, is the fact that he has still map control. But the bad thing is, he has exposed castle with no defense whatsoever. That means he can't really stop them from doing what they are doing, unless he will get all his pikemen back into the base, which are also feeding at this point to the soldiers. You know, now he's paying attention to them. You want to buy banner so they can respawn over time. Level six, level six knight barely was able to survive. Lots of action is happening during this game. Hard to follow up every single move. The barracks will be demolished once again. Gondor has around about 4,500 resources in the bank. So needs only 1.4, 1.3 actually, to get his Gandalf to white. Now here is the thing. When you are this close to the eagles, it's always beneficial to choose the eagles first. Yes, you need like two power points then to get Gandalf to white. But trust me that one eagles can do this for you you know you need two power points you summon eagles you will get more than two power points you can kill lords which will open like a big room of possibilities for your wizard you can clean those uruk pikemen combo you can clean the outpost you can clean all these pikemen you know it will be phenomenal you know what i mean we hear the great company. Warchan has been used on the Spikemen. They have also the heavy armor. Keep that in mind. They are pretty beefy now with the Warchan and heavy armor combination. Tower is quite tanky, but not against the level 7 Knight of Gondor. That's not possible. War um, Palantir buffed Walk Riders, but they don't stand a chance against the Knights of Gondor. Knights with the shields will always win the 1v1. And the Eagles will be special summoned now from the spare book. The first target is Lourdes. Eagles deal crazy bonus damage to heroes. But also Lourdes crippled chunked Eagle as you can see and tell. Yeah, and now as mentioned before, the Eagles will help you to get to two power points. They have still time. They can still keep doing, doing what they are doing. The map is still looking phenomenal for Isengard though. That's something we gotta give him credit to. Lourdes with level 1 has only a revive time of 1 minute and 10 seconds, not a big deal. He will get back there very, very soon. But, you know, he's feeding to the great company, he's feeding to the eagles, and there is nothing he can do because he has no combos, he has nothing outside the base. He also healed his eagle, by the way, because he doesn't want to feed power points to Isengard, who also went for the field of fires for 75% increased resources from those lumber mills. Getting like crazy eco, which he also needs because he still never was able to recruit his wizard. But we have heard the wizard of Gondor. And he has now the Ganath White power point. You know, that's how easy it is. He's gonna blast those combos into the next dimension. He's gonna turn now and use the lightning sword and miss it. Okay, we, that never happened. Don't watch. So, so far, good game, you know. Lots of interesting stuff is happening. The beast rushes were actually on point. Uruk Pit destroyed multiple times, kind of slowed down the Isengard progressing. And he never was able to go for a siege. That's how you prevent sieging. Oh, be careful. Okay, that was really close actually. That's what, how you prevent your opponent from sieging you. As long as he never gets to get to your castle with his ballista or rams, you're in a fine spot. And you can deny that from happening by keep rushing his castle over and over and over again. Because the second... Oh! 
There is a loot, super exposed. I don't know, he has no backup. What is he planning to do? This Pikeman got a move now. This Pikeman got a move, he's moving. But the knights are chunking him, dude. It's a level 9 knight, you know? Super strong. Okay. Still, like, one outpost, plenty of lumber mills outside, it's pretty decent. Even though he has no lumber mills here, which is a mistake because you went for the field of fires, you wanna have lumber mills, you know? The field of fires don't affect the slaughterhouse structures. The combos, without lords, they are free food for the white wizard. A level 3 farm over here. Multiple level, almost 3 blacksmiths in the castle. And also Grand Harvest plus the Iron Ore. Very, very helpful to keep up with the money of Aizen in the late game. He was never able to get an archer. He did get an archer. They are also shooting those pikemen. But without fire arrows, they are not dealing too much damage to them. They have also heavy armor. Keep that in mind. Now Gandalf is coming. That's going to be a different situation. He will get blasted. Boom, son. Don't touch my tralala. -la. Lords is on the hand. He will cripple, but he will miss it. He's too far away. Now, he has... Uh, I'm a servant of the secret fire. The wield of the flame of honor. <laughs> You have one shot, one opportunity! Double kill for the young wizard! Saruman is like, I'm gonna fireball him, and he's not done yet, he's not- Boom! Chakalaka! Dude, this Gandalf is MVP! <laughs> he did. He destroyed everything, my friend. He, what? Saruman is like, take this, but it just happened like in the films. Gandalf reflected the damage, and he's like, Saruman, your stuff is broken. Boom, chakalaka. Now there is zero person chance you can kill this dude. Every 30 seconds with the white, he gets power recharge twice as quickly. That means every 30 seconds he can turn and blast you. And he can do this over and over again until he gets level 10. But it's a level 2 pikeman here. Level 6 Archer of Gondor. And watch this. Boom. <laughs> the war chant won't help you, son. I am a wizard. They call me a Maya. I am next to the Valars. Eru Iliwatar just sent me personally to guide the man to victory. And that's... I'm not done yet. Saruman failed his mission. He got corrupted by his dark will but me is the whitest of white wizards ever of the middle earth i'm not done until my task is done and his task is to destroy every single force of isengard eagle summon available every six minutes 30 seconds and now he has eight power points in total once again lords free food he will just be able to cripple once there is nothing that can shoot down the eagles and the power points are rising to the sky that's ladies and gentlemen is the power of gondor this what you can see on your screen is the power of gondor the reason why gondor is so liked by all the people the major reason is this dude on his horse and once again, the battle of the wizards, your stuff is broken. I remember the scene when Gandalf was, you know, using the butterflies to actually kill, call on the eagles. And that's exactly what happened. Dude, I wish he could get the last, oh, that comes the EOD. How much Balrog? Oh, this guy needs like a lot to Balrog, man. He never killed something, to be honest with you. What he killed? He killed like maybe a couple of knights. And then he killed maybe... Two, three battalions of soldiers it's all he killed but he lost pikemen he lost combos he lost archers he lost uruks he lost berserkers he lost lords three four times he lost he lost saruman twice but he never killed something in the turn yes the reason why he has 12 power points in the first place is because he lost stuff to gain power points that's how evil factions are working especially isengard from losing your heroes and units you will gain power points and he has 13 without really killing too much that's the you know strength of evil Gandalf level 9, the white rider Mifrandia, his stuff is glowing, shining bright like a diamond, and he's, you know, he's about to end his task of Middle-earth boys. What a performance.
by the young wizard the map control is looking still amazing but it won't really do much for you if you lose your castle like this he's gonna use the lightning sword he's on rampage he's killing everything and everybody uh walk riders quite resistant in the formation they have like more magic damage resistance so they are pretty good against wizards like saruman and also gandalf but still they have no chance against the level 10 knights you know level 10 knights with the, sh with the armor leadership from gandalf for 50 percent armor are very very beefy this will fall he will go for lords at the outpost that's the only outpost he has remaining on the field the spikeman level 4 might be able to destroy this slowly but surely but there is a ranger coming look at the profile picture from the ranger looks dangerous to me eisen has lots of money yes but the problem is money without army doesn't really do much you know what i mean lord is coming he will be able to cripple the white wizard that's great but uh, what now <laughs> how are you planning to kill him the walk riders have just shown up the level 10 knights damage is something else the rohirrim special summon four eolingas will be special summoned the last remaining outpost might it, will it be saved by the by the wizard but gandalf is just too high level level 9 gandalf and his lightning sword damage is killing with levels it means if he isolate target this one on lurz and saruman both of them will die to the full mighty charge of to me my servants one out to take oh, <laughs> blast them next to the, to the next game okay gg well played what a performance dude gandalf just go crazy in this game man saruman has been sent back to his place four times and that's why gandalf is the favorite Vala, favorite maya of the valars he was able to buy this outpost though because the rangers couldn't or didn't uh, interfere eisen has 5000 he might be able to buy the castle back because that's how much money he has he's gonna use the war chant but let him buy back you know what's gonna happen if he buys it back nothing will happen because he has no money to keep it but he has now the 220 power points for the ultimate balrog special summon actually maybe if he can get this outpost and this outpost buy this back and summon balrog he has still low key a chance to win but it would be most you know most likely unlikely you know that that's that this is gonna happen the level 10 knights are basically heroes the knights of Dol Amroth, if you want to call them this way they are celebrating the victory of gondor that's the last remaining structure and isengard has 10 command points and i believe these are the workers so he's sending them to get vision <laughs> because without vision you can't summon the ancient demon Some 3D effects there for you, boys. Beautiful breath fire. You can't one shot the production buildings anymore. So you need to. And that's the perfect counter to Balrog in the lead game. You want to have multiple level 3 production buildings. If you have one, you can still end your castle. But in this case, Gondor has two. And the layout is also very important because you can use breath fire second twice when your Balrog is special summoned. So you want to use the first one ASAP. And with the second one, you want to be able to. And you did without breath fire. He didn't breath fire, you know, that's the problem. Without breath fire, your breath fire, without ignite, sorry, your breath fire won't be able to deal 100% damage to the castle. So it's still doable with Baldrock. If you are macroing him godlikely, you need to invest every single second wisely though. If you don't, you can't finish off the castle as you have seen in this scenario. But what a performance by the Gandalf. What a performance by the Gondor player. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like to this video. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.